Hello, welcome to BusyPing.com. My name is Arun Nair. In the last video, I showed you how to install Hyper-V Server 2012 core version on VMware Workstation 10. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install VMware tools for Hyper-V Server 2012 core. All right. So to do that, right click here and you'll see an option called install VMware tools. And as soon as you click on that option, you will see a notification at the bottom which says, make sure that you're logged into the guest operating system. If you did not see VMware tools installing, press the Windows logo key plus R, then enter dsetup.exe. It basically means that the VMware tools has been loaded to the D drive and if you just uh, switch to D drive and type DIR, you should be able to see the VMware tools setup. Now here it is setup64.exe. So all you need to do is uh, just run that file, setup64.exe and hit enter, and you should see the VMware tools uh, setup pops up. Uh, click next, and I usually select complete, but you can select typical, that should be fine, but I usually select complete because I don't want to miss any components, more of it's just few more megs. Click install and the installation should start and it, it should complete in a moment. It's usually very fast. And click finish. Now it'll ask you to restart, go ahead and click yes and it'll restart. Okay, so now it's back on and you can already see that uh, the screen is entirely widespread, which means that VMware Tools has successfully installed. So I'm going to log in. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little information about this sconfig.cmd, this blue window uh, right here. Uh, sconfig.cmd is a built-in utility that comes with server 2012 core versions. It allows you to do some basic configuration like changing the computer name, adding or removing computer from the domain, change network adapter settings like IP address, default gateway, DNS address, etc. Restart and shut down the server, enable remote desktop, download and install updates. Um, the most essential administrative task that you want to do. Now let's say you accidentally close the sconfig.cmd, nothing to worry, just go into the command prompt and type sconfig.cmd and you will get another shell. Now let's say you close the command prompt itself. What you need to do is push control shift escape to invoke the task manager and at the bottom you see this more details, click on that and click file, run new task, type cmd and hit enter. That's it, voila, you got a new command prompt. All right, so that is it. We installed VMware tools on Hyper-V Server 2012 core version, and I also showed you how to use the sconfig.cmd uh, shell. In the next set of videos, we will talk about how to change the network adapter settings, change computer name of the server, and how to add the server to a domain. All right, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.